yeah? You should come with me. See something more than Goliath. With all the wounded there are these days, we can hardly keep up. That's more of a reason. If we keep doing the same things, this war won't end. Nothing we can do will end this war. Someone has to do something. Doing the same thing again and again, it's insane. But what can be done that the warlords haven't done already? We can take a risk. Isn't it more important that we win this war rather than how we win it? Come with me. I need someone to watch my yeah. back when I go look for some Talk supplies. And I know I can trust you. I can't leave. Stormson, Cauldron is counting on me. And there are so many wounded. You patch them up. I want to give people a chance to fight back. If I can pull this off, you will have fewer wounded to worry about. so blind how can they stare at the same thing as you and yet see something so differently you think everyone should think the same way no but if something is so obvious why can't people see it we're losing this war our enemies can see it we can see it so why won't anyone do anything about it it's not like there isn't a solution out there a way we can win but people stick to their old ways and new thinking be damned say so there's no point saying unless you're prepared to do if you stay here incomer you'll have to keep your views out there I think Goliath's walls have narrowed the opinions of everyone who lives here nah nah Someone needs to go out there and kill every last raptor. Is that a fact? Not now. Are you in need of medical supplies? It'll take time to prepare them, I'm afraid. With all the fighting, we haven't any stocks left. Do you help everyone who asks? It is a healer's duty, especially in these times of war. And it is needed, bitterly. Which is what I have heard from everyone we picked up. Terrible. I wish I could offer aid to all those in need. But it seems not even our magic helps us keep up with supplies. Can you heal my wounds? Let me have a look. You don't seem to have any broken bones. Here, I think this will aid you. Thank you. We are here to heal. Besides, the more people who can patch themselves up, the less time we'll have to spend picking up the pieces. You must hear a lot about what's going on. I don't need to hear. I get to see the results. The magic the Albs are using is so destructive. Somehow they're managing to use pure Elex, and it makes me fear for our warriors. It's more powerful than Berserker magic? It's more destructive. With the damage it's causing, I can't believe it isn't tearing the Albs apart, too. It must hurt them. Hurt? Yes. But they're trained to reject emotions and feelings. Yes. They say Elex makes machines of men. But I have heard there are Albs who have escaped their addiction. I wish I could meet one. Knowing what they feel might help me assist others to overcome their addiction. What do you know about Elix withdrawal? I met an Alb separatist. He was brought in as a prisoner. His external wounds weren't so bad, but internally, emotionally, he was trying to cope with all those withdrawal symptoms, and at the same time he was rediscovering his emotions. All that pain. All that pain confusion what happened to him where is he he died it was all just too much 
I wish I could have learned more from him. If he could leave, so could others. Maybe that could offer hope to us all. A few May shards the sun and all shine would be on easier. you. Someone hears that. Hey, did you know there were some weapons brought back here to Goliad? Energy weapons taken from the clerics? I'd be interested in getting a look at them, if you know how I could get a chance to do that. Be careful. You know I could get you exiled for even asking about that. Yes, of course. Sorry, I didn't mean it like that. Listen, what I need is some help. Let's be straight. You recently tracked down a pair of cleric weapons, didn't you? Is that an accusation? This is a small town with lots of big mouths. There aren't really that many secrets. So, have you given those weapons over to the pit? Or do you still have them? I know some people who would be happy to pay for them. The berserkers don't want them. The clerics do. Are you some sort of traitor? Me? No, no, I'm no traitor. I just know some interested parties who would like to get hold of those weapons. I'm sure they would be grateful for your help. You'd be making some useful friends. Friends? You mean you're a cleric, or you know someone who is. That sort of accusation can get someone killed, so don't go shouting that at me. I'm no use to you dead. Besides, you can do with a friend, and the shards they bring. What will you pay me for them? Of course, of course. I can offer you a lexit if you give them to me. That would only be fair. And should you wish to learn more about technology, I could point you to where answers can be found. I'll sell the weapons to you. Sell? No, think of this as a finder's fee. I'll make sure these get back to the right place. Yeah? Not now. You shouldn't stand around talking about these things. shrine. Have you been sent here with a task? Or are you here in search of a healer? Speak now. Or have you taken a vow of silence? It sounds like you're doing good work. Saving our world. The only work that matters. This is the Mana Shrine where Elix is turned from poison to nectar. One day, all Elix will come here, and Magalan will be free from its influence. Until then, we must contend with the danger here. The power released from Elix can make the shrine a hazardous place. Please, be careful here. The power of Elix. Tell me, who are you? You've not said what you're doing here. Something brought you here, didn't it? You were drawn to this place. I was an Alb, but I'm free from Elix now. Then you are an Alb no more. It is Elix that turns a man into an Alb. Without that poison, you are free to make your own choices. You have told me who you were. Now you, now we, will find out who you are. Please understand, whatever feelings are new to you, every person faces that same struggle. It is the struggle Magellan suffers from too. She is dosed with Elix. She has it in her veins as you did. But Magellan does not suffer from temptation. You must feel the lure of Elix to your bones. 
the power it offers. Resist it. One sign of you giving in to the temptation of Elix, and I will be forced to report you. If this world gives in to Elix, it will consume us all. What do you do here, other than give free advice? As Amrik said, our hope for Magalan is that all Elix shall become mana, that from mana Magalan will be reborn. From wasteland shall spring forest, for we are the healers of the world. So the workers bring the Elix to us, and we transmute it at the mana shrine. Well, that is supposed to be what happens, but people don't seem able to stick to their tasks. How does mana help you cast magic? That we have yet to understand, though we do study it. Even now, Thorold the Pilgrim has withdrawn from Elix to study its mysteries in the hope we can grow stronger. Those who cast magic will tell you that while the Alps lose their emotions closing off their minds, mana opens the mind, connects you and the world. That sounds dangerous. There are those who have lost themselves in the journey, but they are rare. It is the power of mana that is addictive, not the substance itself. You can see that in Goliath. We don't need mana like the Alps have to have their elix. And we use a lot less. Most of the elix we find is given to our seedlings. Mana puts our bodies and minds in harmony with the magic we use. For us, it is natural. The energy the Alps use in magic is torn from the world. It damages them and it damages the world. So, how do you transform Elix? Transmute. We transmute Elix. We place the Elix in the mana shrine. There is something in this mountain, the way the rock was changed by the comet. As the Elix passes through, it is changed, purified into mana. If you bring anything that has been altered by Elix close to the shrine, you can feel it. You say people aren't doing their tasks. Yes, the biggest problem we have is temptation. Elix corrupts people as it does the planet. Last week, five large pieces of Elix disappeared from the shrine before it could be transmuted, at the same time as Kral, one of our guards. So Kral stole the Elix? I think Kral is the thief. But thinking is uncertainty. The searches for him and the Elix have come up empty, and I have no idea why he would take the Elix. I can find Kral for you, for a price. Honest labor deserves reward. I can put in a good word for you with the warlords. Then, if you decide to join us, that will open the way for you. If it is shards that would help motivate you, then I can offer you payment. I know we all need to pay our way in the world. So, will you help me? Maybe. Where would I need to start looking for Kral? Well, that is the question, isn't it? The guards tried Ragnar's stronghold at the top of Goliath. Kral spent a lot of time up there, sitting out on the main balcony. He's a thinker. While the guards might have been there already, they aren't the best of investigators. Maybe you will have more fortune if you look there. You're comfortable with an alb living in Goliath? An alb is a man who has become a slave to Elix. It seems to me that you have freed yourself. That makes you a rare individual. Still, you are wise to be wary. 
There are those here who would kill you if they learn your background. But though it is not one of our written laws, it is central to our beliefs and to me that we should give all those who wanted a second chance. If you are prepared to leave your past behind, you should be given a chance. Are you willing to do this? What are the laws? The laws were laid down by Amrak when he founded the Berserkers. But what matters is the spirit of the law. Protect Magellan. That is what Amrik truly intended when he founded the Berserkers. Whatever words and interpretations have been added to Amrik's words, it is Magellan's future that counts above all. What do you do with the mana? Our mana is everything. It is life itself. It is mana that allows us to do magic. No other faction of the free people can do that. The mana potions we make give us that ability. It makes our warriors stronger, more powerful than any of the Alb's machines. But it doesn't just make us strong, it also makes the world blossom. Look around. All of this is the work of our world hearts. World hearts? World hearts are the center of everything we do. The heart of the berserkers. They are plants we enrich with mana. They bring the soil back to life. Will you trade me some mana for Elix? Gladly. <laughs> 